ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आटले सपरे पित्रे ऑटोनॉमस कॉलेज देवरू एंड ऑर्गनाइजिंग पार्टनर्स संगू काना ठाकर कॉलेज पनवेल एंड एस एच केलकर कॉलेज देवगढ़ आई वेलकम ऑनरेबल प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर तेंडुलकर सर ऑन दिस वर्चुअल प्लैटफॉर्म ऑल्सो इट इज माई प्राइम ड्यूटी टू वेलकम टूडेज रिसोर्स पर्सन प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर के श्रीनिवासन सर बिफोर गोइंग अहेड फॉर हिज ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर तेंडुलकर सर सर काइंडली से फ्यू वर्ड्स ऑन दिस ऑकेजन सर प्लीज श्योर डॉक्टर सरदार गुड इवनिंग वन एंड ऑल एम आई ऑडिबल इट्स विद ग्रेट प्लेजर आई वेलकम डॉक्टर इट्स विद ग्रेट प्लेजर आई वेलकम डॉक्टर श्रीनिवास रिसोर्स पर्सन फॉर द टूडेज वर्कशॉप एंड ऑफकोर्स यू ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट स्कॉलर्स एंड एजुकेटर्स दिस वर्कशॉप is on the very important topic enhancing teachers competence for interactive and personalized learning very apt under national education policy 2020 and is organized by our college in collaboration with ckt college panwel and sh kelkar college deogar i specially congratulate our vice principal dr sardar patil and all iqsc members for its organization as you all know the revamping of education under nep 2020 marks a transformative shift towards a holistic and flexible learning approach it emphasizes critical thinking creativity and skill development to meet the demands of 21st century with a focus on multidisciplinary multidisciplinary learning vocational training and technology integration nep 2020 aims to nurture well rounded individuals prepared for the challenges of tomorrow's world in the dynamic landscape of education where the change is constant and innovation is imperative it is a paramount for us as educators to continuously evolve and adapt to meet the diverse needs of our students the nep in 2020 underscores the importance of fostering interactive and personalized learning experiences that empower students to thrive in an in an ever changing world today's workshops serves a platform for us to come together share insight and explore strategies to enhance our teaching practices in alignment with the principles of national education policy 2020 through interactive sessions collaborative discussions and hands on training activities we aim to equip ourselves with the knowledge and tools necessary to create engaging and inclusive learning environments that cater to the individual needs and strengths of every learner as we embark on this journey of professional development let us embrace the spirit of innovation collaboration and lifelong learning together we can inspire and empower our students to become active participants in their own learning journey equipped with skills knowledge and confidence to navigate complexities of 21st century i extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your dedication passion and commitment to the excellence in education your tireless efforts are instrumental in shaping the minds and futures of our students and i am confident that today's workshop will further enrich our collective journey towards educational excellence let us grab this opportunity to learn grow and inspire positive change in our classroom and communities 
with this i conclude patil sir over to you i extend all the best for this workshop thank you thank you very much sir for your kind words uh, dear participant this is time to introduce today's speaker professor dr k sri nivas sir uh, dr k sri nivas sir he is working as a head at the department of ICT and Project Management Unit at National Institute of Educational Planning and Administration. As this is an initiative of Central Government Ministry of Education. Dr. Professor K. Srinivas is a distinguished figure in the field of educational technology uh, with a PhD in Computer Science. Uh, Professor Srinivas sir has been pioneering the use of open source ICT tools and technologies in education since 1990, spanning across both under undergraduate and postgraduate levels. His expertise encompasses a wide array of areas including e-learning, blended learning, MOOCs, ICT enabled pedagogy and the application of computer science in project management and e-governance. With over three decades uh, of experience in teaching, research and industry and consultancy, Professor Srinivas has significantly contributed in towards the advancement of educational practices in India. Apart from his roles at NEPA, Professor Srinivas serves on numerous academic bodies advisory committees and working groups ac across various educational institutions and initiatives nationwide. He is actively involved in conducting teacher training workshops at both school and higher educational levels, discriminating his knowledge and expertise to educators across the country. Furthermore, Professor Srinivas is a prolific writer having authored numerous articles on topics ranging from university, atom university automation to e-governance which have been published in reputed research journals. He has also presented papers at international forums on subjects such as e-governance, blended learning, online teaching and MOOCs. His contribution extend beyond academia as he plays a crucial role in shaping educational policies and frameworks. He serves as a member of several committees and councils dedicated to enhancing the quality and effectiveness of education delivery in India. Professor Srinivas is highly sought, sought after as a resource person for delivering skill-based technical session and lectures on various aspects of e-learning, uh, MOOC and use of ICT pedagogy. He actively participates in faculty development program, faculty induction program, refresher courses, orientation programs, etc. With this very brief introduction, I would like to invite Dr. Professor K. Srinivas sir for his fruitful deliberations. Sir, I request you, now the dice is yours. Sir, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, honorable Principal, Honorable uh, Vice Principal and uh, the respected uh, participants uh, attending this workshop. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share uh, my thoughts, uh, not only in a lecture mode, uh, in a practical mode also. Uh, so, and uh, before I start the session, uh, I request uh, why the participants have switched off their cameras. I fail to understand. This is one of the very important thing. Faculty must be switched on the cameras because this is not a lecture kind of a thing. Because eye to eye contact of teacher is very, very important. <coughs> because uh, can we allow the student to sleep uh, when, when, when he is attending a class? No. So when in an online workshop, why the people are allowed to switch off the cameras? I fail to understand. Okay. So <coughs> because the time is short, generally 90 minutes means for me, like oont ke mume jira. Because when I when I when I talk many other things, suddenly when I when take off, I can't straight away start the session. 
because there is a you know environment will be set up we all know very well about the national educational policy and our honorable principal has rightly mentioned about uh, what it is being meant for us in uh, when it comes to the technology integration in higher education there are three important verticals the national educational policy is talking about one in teaching learning assessment and and uh, pedagogy second governance and management is second part third part is on research but pro, but in this session i will be focusing only on the teaching the competencies required for the teachers uh, to be built with the, with respect to the national educational policy so why technology is required and many many of us are thinking that uh, we have been teaching for many years and will continue to, to teach also why the technology is required technology means it's not using a powerpoint presentation it's not using a smart board but how to use smartly into the classroom that's the first point to be noted down second important point is again this is my usp many times i used to say uh, how to make the process of learning impactful engaging interesting and challenging for the learner i let me repeat how to make the process of learning impactful engaging interesting and challenging for the learner so if you could able to do this almost uh, 90% of the problems are solved to create this kind of environment only conventional four walls of the classroom is not enough in classroom the uh, it gadgets and hardware gadgets are not enough we need to think something beyond the classroom where uh, because there are certain issues which i i i, I as a senior professor uh, i is being feeling till now so 16 years back my my discipline is computer science and 16 years back the same situation come to me during that time there is no corona there is no such kind of a things so two biggest problems i come across i'll show you the solution from there i'll drive towards that solution also one of the biggest problem is my class time is one hour during that one hour class 10 minutes were uh, spent for the attendance and controlling the class i was left with maximum 50 minutes in the classroom during that 50 minutes class in a teacher centric environment i had to teach base both basic advanced application in each segment sometimes i am teaching a concept i need i am explaining the concept in detail i am explaining an idea in detail i am explaining task in detail i am explaining skill in detail this is one part of it time is one issue and you know delivery is second issue third very very uh, issue sir because we have a heterogeneous classroom there are slow learners the approach is different there are average learners there are gifted learners there are introverts in the class there are extroverts in the class language is still a big problem only single language cannot be taught and of course uh, techno savvy techno noises uh, are there so all these things i thought why don't we create an environment which could be an extension of my conventional classroom that's the first and foremost thing and second thing what i thought why don't we create a uh, environment where my students can work beyond the classroom and the class can be connected together the that, that that online environment can be connected with my conventional classroom so this is the first uh, thought which stuck to my mind when i uh, when uh, this was started which leads to uh, which leads to uh, the platform which i am just going to show you on your screen this this was led to this that platform called uh, professor k srinivas learning portal which is a zero costing solution 
facility and this is again an online platform this is a very very important point it's an online platform and this is supporting the asynchronous mode of learning here my students can access the resources my students can do the activities and which they can able to pursue beyond their class hours and schedule. This is the one first and foremost thing. Second important point to be noted down and it's, it was done with a free open source pedagogy based learning management system called Moodle. M-O-O-D-L-E. The only money I spent on that is for the uh, uh, you know uh, professor domain registration for the 20 years i paid 5000 rupees only entire rest of the things are free you must have noted something over here i have not created any login and password okay logins and passwords are there the second important thing which was uh, which i planned it during that time is this process helps the students to build the content knowledge and allows the students to apply learning in creative ways. Because what is the problem which I be, which I have been telling consistently to you people? Uh, the time is a big problem. Within that one hour time, within that 15 minutes time, I could not able to complete everything. And there were so many holidays and students' divergencies there. So many things could not be able to happen for that purpose as such. So to do this, to create this kind of an environment, somehow I set up the environment. Let me tell you the story behind it so that you catch the point much easily. When I set up this environment, I asked my student, during that time the internet was not so good, but somehow a local host has been created and I asked my students to cross check. The, there are four top class students I, I selected uh, and all of them was asked to cross check. One of the students made a comment saying that sir aapko tankha do jagah se mil raha hai ek hi jagah se maine kaha tha bhai kya baat hai mujhe to ek hi jagah se tankha mil raha hai sir do do jagah aap padha rahe ho maine do do jagah nahi padha raha hu jahan jahan aapko lagta hai jo kadinai ho raha hai kabhi kabhar basics are difficult to understand i am providing that basic uh, thorough understanding of that uh, basics with the help of a video material with the help of a interactive video material that's very very important. Second point is my student said, sir, you have seen so many videos in this video. So, you have to make all the videos in 24 hours because you have to make so much time. Then I said, no, I am not going to create any videos because, because the videos are already good quality repositories are already available. Friends, just a minute, just go through this one for a second. So already good quality uh, digital repositories are already available under uh, digital uh, uh, repositories of government of India. Second one is digital repositories of the state governments in higher education. It's already available. Third one is digital repositories of national and international institutions. Excellent content is available. And very importantly, something called open educational resources are available. So what is important here, every teacher must acquire the necessary skills and competencies. First of all, to set up this environment, theoretical understanding is okay. But what is more important is where the resource, because we don't want to spend the time on the creation of the content. Con already good quality content and better explained content is already available. What is important first instance is identify the content. Second one is, is it uh, straight away consumed by the student? For example, my students are 90% uh, of my students are Hindi speakers and there are native Hindi speakers. So always I try to provide a reading material which is close to the hat. I'm not at all against that. So already there is a tool called Anuvadini is available. 
there is a there is a, a ai uh, tool in the name of anuvadini is available uh, where it 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 facilitates the uh, transfer of the content matlab you can you can uh, you can convert the text and document translation with the help of this anuvadini and and of course if you want to transfer small small content that also can be done anuvadini is one such option which is being available for you okay so the question is not uh, the resources are abundantly available but what is important for each and every teacher is how to how to how to create that content uh, so that you know how to use that content more creatively and innovatively uh, for the students to use okay this is the first point the second important point is second important point is as i already mentioned to you that i have created a online asynchronous environment look at this look at this points these are the points are very very important to understand so it is not a single face to face classroom anymore and thanks to this national educational policy it is talking about the blended mode of teaching so that you know blending of the teaching learning experience is very very important for us to do it so what i am trying to say that it it requires two things it requires pre recorded lectures e content that's first point second very important point is how to encourage the students to come prepare for the class ye maine karke dikhaya hamare students ke sath so how how the students will join you how the student will trust you there are so many concept mai bachon ko ye kehta tha bhai har cheez mai classroom mein bata nahi sakta har 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 cheez classroom mein mai bata nahi sakta तो मैंने स्टूडेंट्स को यह कहा था आपको जहां जहां कठिनाई महसूस कर रहे हैं मैं उन चीजों को निकिता प्लीज म्यूट योरसेल्फ निकिता पाटिल प्लीज म्यूट योरसेल्फ सो या सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से वेर एवर यू आर फाइंडिंग डिफिकल्टी सो स्टूडेंट्स कैन एबल टू एबल टू एक्सेस द रिसोर्सेस लाइक दिस ओके एंड my one of the one more student told me one thing sir when is when a student come to a conventional classroom when a student come to the conventional classroom yes viswanath patel you raise the hand please anything you want to ask you sir viswanath patel you have anything to ask you raise the hand sir it may by mistake okay okay sir no problem so what uh, what what the students have raised the questions first point is when the student come to a conventional classroom sit in a conventional classroom he learns from the teacher he learns from the fellow students he learns from the digital and non digital material and he learns from the environment similarly when a student access the resources in the asynchronous platform sir all these four things are possible maine inko kaha tha yes aapne dekhe yahan so yahan is jo jo professor k srinivas dot in ke jo platform mein aapne aapne bhi dekha hoga yahan to bahut sare video material hai bahut sare text material hai aur students ke doubts ko clear karne ke liye डिस्कशन फोरम है असेसमेंट तो जनरली मैं किसी हालत में करता नहीं सो वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट दिस 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 इज द फेसिलिटी विच हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू द स्टूडेंट सो दैट द स्टूडेंट कैन सो वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट इज द चेंज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टूडेंट आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू गो थ्रू दट वीडियो एंड कम प्रिपेयर फॉर द क्लास सो यू मे बी थिंकिंग दैट हा सर वी हैव बीन डूइंग एलियर ऑल्सो वॉट इज ग्रेट देर इज अ डिफरेंस इ we have been providing for example i want to explain a concept in a video maximum it takes 15 minutes only hum log kya karte pura 1 ghante ka video student ko de rahe in a monologue mode of learning that's a difficulty student after certain time uh, you know student lose the concentration student lose the interest so what need to be ensured so aapko jo video chahiye first of all you go through the video you need need not be yours first of all get out of the thinking every time don't think that you only create the videos 
there are excellent you know i'll tell you one more interesting thing to teach an undergraduate paper to teach a postgraduate paper to guide the research scholars we are not writing books already there is an excellent paper written excellent books written hum log kya karte hain wo books ko padhte hamare student ke level ke mutabik hum improvise kar dete hain similarly we can also do the same thing here so what is important is we need to communicate to my i communicated my students very clearly that this is the way it should be worked okay and this is not enough i want i have given one more message to my students through my portal it facilitates the convenience of access acha ek one more uh, galat information is desh mein hai are online shuru karne se student class mein nahi aayenge but these two things are connected my conventional classroom teaching and this online asynchronous environment are complementing to each other they are not separate so naturally student has to go through the video and what is the another psychologically i am uh, controlling my students If students will learn on their own pace pace and time and style and students can engage the variety of content student can go through the video multiple times and because every time i have created uh, necessary interactions into top of that and wide variety of range of content can be presented to the students fine what was the last thing as i told you that now uh, in a conventional classroom teacher speaks teacher answers in this asynchronous environment recorded video with interactions that's the difference second important thing students learn from the fellow students in a collaborative mode in a conventional classroom in a online environment there is a collaborative learning facilities are available आप में से कुछ कर सकते अरे सर हमारे लिए मॉडल करना मुश्किल है कैनवास करना मुश्किल डोंट डू दैट जैम बोर्ड शुरू करो किसने मना किया था जैम बोर्ड जैम बोर्ड पैडलेट एंड यू नो माइरो विमसिकल इस तरीके का टूल्स है विच इज फेसिलिटेटिंग द कोलैबोरेटिव लर्निंग एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट स्टूडेंट एनवायरमेंट से सीखता है इन ए कन्वेंशनल सिंक्रोनस मोड ऑफ लर्निंग में इन ऑनलाइन ऑल्सो यू क्रिएट दट एनवायरमेंट this process i made it 18 years back then now a lot of things have been happened now what happened now i don't find it difficulty like whether it's a can we say face to face class online class blended class when government of india uh, you know when the national education policy came uh, they they constituted a five three member four member committee i am the one of the member of the committee on blended mode of teaching we said one thing very clearly blended learning means not cutting the cake into two parts blended learning basically the purpose of that one is blending of the teaching learning experiences in online and offline environment <coughs> look at this what we said is of course the policy recommends the adoption of the blended learning approach that combines the online and offline modes of learning so this process enables the students to access the learning resources anywhere any any time and uh, on their own pace and space and time and at the same time you must be knowing that ugc has sent a letter to all of us uh, all the institutions got the letter saying that teach in a 60 40 mode 60 40 mode so what i mean to say that of course uh, so some interpretation will be uh, some online courses are there some offline courses are there but whatever courses we are teaching so try to create an environment which is uh, which is appropriate level of engagement in each ye ek cheez bhul jaiyega sirf hum hi padha rahe i think that is the first and foremost mindset uh, one has to happen uh, in this country that is very very important for us so to ensure this kind of an environment uh, what is important for us is we require the resources so where are the resources available i have already told you that resources are already available under digital initiatives of government of india uh, digital initiatives of the state government digital initiatives of the uh, uh, national and international institutions and so on and so forth and one more interesting part to be noted down in this regard is 
uh, you must have noted down something uh, from my my site also and i i i've not only provided the content in a just like that manner because there is some connectivity because uh, one of the important question uh, many faculty members in this country is asking sir mujhe to hame to ek hi tanka mil raha hai do do jagah kaam karna hai kya i said no do do jagah kisne kaha tha kaam karne ke liye aap to ek hi jagah kaam karo jahan students ko dekhe what is our job our facilitate the learning of the learners so everything why should you teach who asked you to teach everything so because there are certain technologies are available so acquire the necessary skills and competencies to use those technologies to make the learning impactful engaging interesting and challenging for the learner this is one part second important part because i traveled length and breadth of this country uh, on many uh, as a nac chairman act training programs and nep implementations and so on and so forth one thing i must tell you whether it is a conventional classroom whether it's a books courses whether it's a blended technology integration higher education students are expecting five important things they want the learning should be interesting flexible adaptable personalized and engaging let me repeat because other than the principal and vice principal nobody is there on the screen i don't know whether you have been writing these things are important so interesting students are expecting that learning should be interesting they don't want people are reading out the textbooks in the classroom this is crime not at all acceptable and and that that's not the job they can and second time in the name of uh, running the online resources people are simply running the online resources that is not at all acceptable to me also either so they want interesting and second but they want a flexible learning environment so that you know they want to come to the college but there are so many things because as uh, the honorable principal rightly said uh, it's 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 not a rote learning matters it's not 100 out of 100 mark, marks matters critical thinking problem solving and 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 the innovative and creative way of learning and very very importantly uh, communication and collaboration so many things are required as far as uh, the process is concerned so uh, interesting uh, engaging and personalized and people are looking for a personalized learning environment adaptive learning environment and very very importantly engaging learning environment and second important point because i know uh, in that what the students are speaking and of course in i do lot of uh, academic audits also when it's traveling second important thing students will say that they want to learn uh, the learning should be on their own pace space and time and they have a critical observation about the mooc courses also and so they have a lot of respect on the teachers no no student complained about that so why do how do we meet their expectations so that uh, we can uh, we can do something better than what it is being started so this is the title of the talk this is a background on which this has been done now what is the first thing happens i request the participants to kindly spend 30 seconds on this uh, um, slide so that it gives a lot to us so what is important all these things can happen the national educational policy is a real will be a reality if the teacher decided to change himself themselves if they do not want to change two two instances you know very well ambassador car one of the best car which could not be updated gone nokia phone which is a, such a wonderful facility is there gone so my point is that i think what is important for us is uh do it something very systematically and accept the change accept the change means already there are certain things which has been expected over here and to do the needful as such so the national educational policy has uh, have a clear cut key provisions of use of technology in the higher education to make the process of learning impactful engaging interesting and challenging so what is important for us that identify the skills and competencies to be acquired by the higher education teacher 
for fulfilling the key provisions. Okay, please try to understand. Let me come to a uh, few specific things. I just want to share it with you. Uh, because I have already, since I have already told you that there are uh, so much content is already available in the public domain. So one of the interesting uh, uh, digital repository is on Swayam Prabha. Uh, so what is what is important for us from there as far as Swayam Prabha is concerned? हाँ सर मैं जानता हूँ स्वयं प्रभा मैं स्वयं को जानता हूँ मैं स्वयं प्लस को जानना जरूरी नहीं है और वो स्वयं प्रभा के अंदर भारत सरकार ने बहुत कुछ अच्छा क्वालिटी का कंटेंट आपको दे रखा है सो व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम किस लेवल पे कंटेंट को ढूंढ रहे आर वी लुकिंग फॉर यूजी लेवल पीजी लेवल रिसर्च लेवल कंटेंट एंड बिकॉज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एन एनवायरमेंट विच इज ब्लेंडिंग both having conventional synchronous mode of teaching plus online asynchronous mode of teaching for the asynchronous mode of teaching i need some resources so first of all you must be so we, it it must be a regular habit for us to check the content available in these resources okay then find out for example i am teaching something on indian psychology so indian psychology what kind of content is available video content is available very good so where that video content is going to be fit in is it fit in for the basic level advanced level application level itra to decide to karo uske baad ye koi concept explain karne ke liye kaam aa gaya is it useful for to explain a skill is it useful to explain an idea is it useful better useful to explain a task why should we talk everything from my side only matlab already somebody for example the honorable uh, principal narendra ji has prepared a nice video in my subject my own subject area so instead of i explain i take that video and make it uh, add your value addition and share it with the learners what is wrong so that what happened and two things happened first of all what we are being currently doing simply collect the video video ko students ko de rahe that is wrong that is wrong that is wrong why it is so because in a monologue mode of learning there is a definite level of uh, attention spans will be down to isliye maine kaha main ye keh raha hu aap video ko seedha 60 minute ka 80 minute ka video ko nahi dena chahiye first of all hame kya karna chahiye पहली बात है एक बार उस वीडियो को पूर्ण रूप से एक बार आप देख लीजिएगा इस वीडियो किस लेवल के लिए काम आएगा एज ए टीचर यू मस्ट बी नोइंग उसके बाद कौन एंड एंड कम टू द सेकंड सब लेवल ये कॉन्सेप्ट के लिए स्किल के लिए आइडिया के लिए टास्क के लिए कहा फिट होगा यू टेक ए कॉल थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड डाउन यस ईशा ठाकरे यू रेज द हैंड मैडम Isha Thakre, चलिए so third important point is ये जो साठ मिनट की वीडियो में पहले के पंद्रह मिनट की जरूरत है बीच के पंद्रह मिनट की जरूरत है या लास्ट के तीस मिनट की जरूरत है उतना ही वीडियो ले लो थर्ड पॉइंट फोर्थ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज मान लीजिए पंद्रह मिनट की वीडियो में पहले पांच मिनट में समथिंग हैज बीन एक्सप्लाइन As soon as the five minutes are over, what has been transacted from one minute to five minutes? You can ask a question. You can ask it. This is what I am talking about: the interactivity. And here, the students can take the personalized level also. Okay. So similarly, uh, second point is okay. Uh, then he must have answered. He could not able to answer. Student can go back. student can go back and student can review and since it is not assessment this is an interactive creative personalized adaptive interesting learning experience student can go 10 times mitro main ye baat aisa nahi bol raha ye main day to day mein karta hu day to day mein karta hu jo main karta hu wahi batata hu main aap तो मेरा कहने के मतलब ये था कि इससे क्या हो गया स्टूडेंट्स कैन गो टेन टाइम एंड व्हाट इज व्हाट इज अवेलेबल फॉर मी आई कैन सी दिस स्टैटिस्टिक्स व्हेन आई गो टू द क्लास देखिए मैं आज सोमवार है मॉर्निंग 
मैंने फ्राइडे को तीन वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स को दिया था एक एक वीडियो में तीन तीन क्वेश्चन तीन वीडियो में नौ क्वेश्चन टुडे मॉर्निंग मैंने वेंट टू द क्लास फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ओपन ऑल द नाइन क्वेश्चन एंड एक एक क्वेश्चन को कितने बार स्टूडेंट एक एक स्टूडेंट ने देखा एंड वॉट इज इज लेवल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्योंकि ये ये क्वेश्चन भी मैंने महाराष्ट्र का कैपिटल कहाँ है मुख्यमंत्री जी कौन है मैंने नॉलेज लेवल का प्रश्न नहीं दिया ऑफ कोर्स यस देर आर वेरी फ्यू नॉलेज लेवल एंड एप्लीकेशन लेवल टेस्टिंग द क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग लेवल टेस्टिंग द एनालिटिकल थिंकिंग लेवल ऑल ऑल फोर आर देर सो अनलेस एंड अंटिल स्टूडेंट गो थ्रू द एंटायर वीडियो रीड द टेक्स्ट मटीरियल he cannot answer and what is important and i i clear their mind saying that by imtihan nahi hai this is not examination so they are learning so we had to so in that way we can take the help of the student how the environment can be created i'll show you once second point is similarly there is something called ugc e resources because there is a big discussion happening in this country saying that resources need to be created no 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 not at all not at all not at all excellent content is already available for example ugc e resources when i recently when i went to one of the best university the best autonomous college i surprised to find out that 50% of the faculty members are not even aware of these things so my point is that every faculty must know these facilities whatever the central government is doing whatever the state government is doing because we are all uh, under the uh, ugc and we are all part of the system so we should know it because all these facilities are not for the website purpose every faculty must know this and try to see that whatever the best can be possible to facilitate the learning of the learners yahan dekhiyega 67 epg patshala subjects are available text and video is available and uh, non technology books courses 135 pg courses uh, 243 ug course content is available similarly what the another very interesting uh, uh, thing is that uh, if if you look at uh, the last one 27 books courses in uh, eight indian languages are available they need not join any courses marathi is also one among them just to uh, to demonstrate that let me click on to this marathi okay and uh, when when we want to run this code <coughs> just just watch for a second uh, what is happening over here welcome dear learners welcome in the very first week of our mooc on academic writing this week see we are here with the two modules in the module 1 introduction to academic writing Content is we will be in introducing the concept of it academic be, writing. This is what I am talking about. The we will be covering the students. what is writing and what is academic writing skill. How it is different from simple writing. What are the types of academic writing? What are the basic traits required for? Okay, let me stop over here. So this is about uh, the uh, the uh, uh, you know twenty seven MOOCs courses in eighteen eight Indian languages. So I think what I feel it personally that if I if if I can given something in a language which is close to my heart, definitely understanding will be more. That's what our national educational policy is saying. You speak, uh, you you facilitate the learning of the learners uh, in the own language which is being done. Okay. Secondly, you can see on the right side there is something called uh, EPG Patshala. EPG Patshala again you have something. Uh, if you click on the EPG Patshala, sixty-seven subjects are available because to create a interactive and engaging learning experience, you require resources. That's the reason I am focusing on this one first. Okay. For example, for example, I, I'm I'm a I'm a faculty of uh, commerce. Okay, now you can see. Uh, I clicked on the commerce, and there is a, there are two blocks are coming on your screen. The first block, this is sixteen papers were already written. Sixteen papers were already written over here. For example, I am teaching something on managerial economics. You can see something. There are thirty five was written over there. Okay, now you come to the module. see uh, there are 35 modules were already written sir 
35 modules were already written. Out of these 35 modules, I required something on economic concepts. Okay. So uh, in the EPG part, Shala, I selected commerce, step number one. Then I, in the commerce, then there are two blocks are coming. One is on paper. Uh, there are 16 papers out there. I selected one paper on managerial economics, which I've been teaching. And I'm, I'm interested to know uh, how the, uh, the economic concepts has been taught. I selected that module. Now you can see three uh, colored things are there. One is e-text. It's a text material, sir. Nine pages of the good quality vetted content is already available. Text material. And where I can able to use it with this down arrow button. I can able to download this. I can able to print this. Okay. Next you can say learn more extended links of this particular concept has been given over there that can be I, I can able to use this and similarly the last option there is something called self-learning there is a self-learning video available in this concept okay so first two things are text material aap keh sakte sir ye to baat to sahi hai sir ye to english mein hai hamare palgar mein students ko marathi mein chahi main example ke taur pe keh raha बिल्कुल भारत सरकार ने हमारे लिए हमारे लिए एक ऐसे ही फर्स्ट ए आई एनेबल्ड प्लेटफॉर्म को लेके आया उसका नाम है अनुवादिनी उसका नाम है अनुवादिनी इस अनुवादिनी में एक ऑप्शन अवेलेबल है ऑनलाइन डॉक्यूमेंट ट्रांसलेशन टूल ऑनलाइन डॉक्यूमेंट ट्रांसलेशन टूल सच ए वंडरफुल फेसिलिटी दिस इज ए आई एनेबल्ड एनवायरमेंट क्लिक ऑन दट ऑनलाइन डॉक्यूमेंट ट्रांसलेशन टूल क्लिक करने के बाद ये आपसे यूजर नेम कुछ पासवर्ड पूछ रहे क्लिक ऑन दट यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड व्हाट इज दिस फैसिलिटी दिस फैसिलिटी विल ट्रांसलेट ए कंटेंट इन इंग्लिश टू सेवेंटीन इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस दिस इज डिफरेंट विद गूगल ट्रांसलेट दिस इज दिस इज ए कॉन्टेक्सट बेस्ड ट्रांसलेट फेसिलिटी इज बींग प्रोवाइडेड बाई द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सी हाउ इट इज हैपनिंग I want one volunteer to read out in uh, Marathi in the typical Marathi slang. Okay, so I am always used to say that this should be done, and <laughs> I want it should be read out. Okay, and now I am going to show you that how this will work. I I select this source language as English because I downloaded an article from the EPG Patshala in English, sir. Now the destination language. Let me see how many languages it is supporting. Assami, Bengali, Bodo, Dogri, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannad, Malayalam, Marathi, Odia, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu, and Kashmiri, Konkani, uh, Malay, Maithili. Okay. Out of all these languages, what is interesting for us is Marathi. Okay. So the source language I selected as English because I downloaded that article is available in English to me. It's in PDF as well as the talk. Second one, I translated into Marathi. And please understand, this is an AI-based system. So the more you use, the more clarity it can get. And finally, after doing these two things, then upload the document. Uh, since the document is already, I have been using the document. So I just downloaded. Uh, let me just take that uh, document. I select it and click on the translate button. See, a magic is going to happen. I think this is important for every teacher. Such kind of things are already available. Uh, I'm only talking about the text. Now I've come to the video part. Uh, just, just be for a few minutes. And please confirm my voice is reaching to all of you, all the, uh, all the members. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, friends, uh, you can see the magic magic happened on your screens. Okay. On, on my left hand side, uh, the content is in English. Okay. So, okay. I'll just take the table of contents. Uh, okay. And on my right hand side, on my right hand side, the content translated into Marathi. The content translated into Marathi. Let me make it little bigger. So that you can able to read out this one. If you do, if you don't read, and I will read myself. Samagri Sarani. 
एंड शिक्षा ने आचे सर जस्ट हेडिंग हेडिंग वन टू थ्री फोर टू नाइन रीड इट रीड आउट सर प्लीज so sir now what is what is what is the beauty of the system is you can download it you can take a print out you can edit it even there is a facility to edit also you can translate it and you can see the entire text is in marathi entire text is in marathi and students can love it like this it has been available in 17 indian languages aapko lagta hai ki ha sir kuch yahan kuch gadbadi hai aap isko likh dijiye सेकेंड पॉइंट इज इनिशियली दे आर मेकिंग फॉर टेन पेजेस नहीं नहीं सर मुझे तो हजार पेज चाहिए सिंपली सेंट ए मेल इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट टू दिस वन सेइंग दैट सर इसमें ये हजार पेजेस को मराठी में ट्रांसफर करके देने का वो आपको करके दे देंगे और आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सच फेसिलिटीज आर अवेलेबल दिस इज दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट इन्वायरमेंट ऑलरेडी वेटेड कंटेंट इज देर इन सिक्सटी सेवन इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस non mooks contain 243 and uh, uh, approximately i must say that uh, 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 non non technology mooks courses non technology mooks course i think they are updating uh, this page probably today there is there is an issue there so non technology mooks courses are available over there something i must to say that 243 135 pg courses and uh, uh, 243 ug courses content is available so what is wrong in using this content for a classroom teaching tomorrow i may come to your college as a uh, nac assessor this is the first question i am going to ask you my point is that this is the first part of the creating an interactive and engaging content now the second point of course text content is very much available there but what is more important to me is the uh, video uh, the, the, the content which is being used as a a video material so to use this content as a video material there are certain things which are always which are which have been uh, uh, requested by the learners very interestingly and importantly so uh, there are certain tools there are nice interesting uh, sites are available okay initially i am going to show you a small clip of that video the first interesting site is called edpuzzle first interesting site called edpuzzle at puzzle is a tool which is going to create an interactive engaging e content okay i'm going to show you that yeah exciting topic to discuss the okay kids these days are learning how to do almost everything through Listen videos carefully. videos feel personal oh. are highly visual and let you control the pace at which you learn but when you try to show a video in class you might not always get the best results Sometimes it's hard to know if students are paying attention or if they're actually learning anything. But with Edpuzzle, turning a video into a dynamic lesson is easy. You can add questions anywhere in your video. So you can check comprehension and get students to engage in critical thinking. You may not always have time to find a video and add your own questions. But don't worry. The entire Edpuzzle community has got you covered. Scroll through our library of teacher-created content and get inspired by what other educators like you are doing in their own classrooms. Or choose from our standards-aligned Edpuzzle Originals, instructional videos with built-in practice created with you and your students in mind. With the time you save, you can focus on other important things. Sometimes the video content you're looking for doesn't exist yet, so why not try making it yourself? Edpuzzle screen recording tool lets you create the video that fits your students' needs. When you're done, you can edit the video and embed questions all in one go. Your students will appreciate seeing a familiar, friendly face as they learn. Once you're ready to assign your lesson, that's when the magic happens. 
you can hold students accountable for watching the entire video and monitor as they watch it at their own pace. Then, use Edpuzzle's real-time analytics to figure out who's ready to move on to the next lesson and who needs a little more help. That way, you can decide how to best use your time in the classroom. So, the next time you want to assign a video, let Edpuzzle be your guide. You'll be joining a network of educators who are changing the face of 21st century teaching, one video lesson at a time. So what we have noticed uh, in this uh, regard is, uh, it is say it is an environment uh, which creates a wonderful, interactive, personalized, engaging and uh, flexible learning environment. Okay, so Edpuzzle is one such tool, uh, where, but what is important for the Edpuzzle, we should be very clear about, see, technology is always secondary. Mujhe ye chahiye, pali baate, ye video students ko dena hai, pali baate, itna lamba chodha video nahi dena chahiye. Or, chali, abhi mein iske abhi ek bar karke dikha dunga. Usse pehle, I am going to show you one more tool, one more interesting tool called Lumi for Education. Iska abhi mein aapke... Uh, chat box me is ka link dal uh, there's something called Lumi for education this is again a very interesting uh, tool and uh, listen this video also carefully hi and welcome to Lumi our mission is to make education accessible individual and exciting for this mission we provide you with tools and editors to create interactive and engaging content let me show you what you can do with Lumi you can enhance your videos with interactive elements like multiple choice questions, provide feedback, and make sure the essential information is understood before continuing the video. You can build presentations with different task formats like single choice questions with instant feedback, or fill in the blank type. Allow your learners to view the solution. And include videos for further explanation. Give feedback and let your learners make mistakes. Vary the difficulty of the tasks by choosing different formats like drag and drop and individualize the learning process. Use multiple choice questions and give an overview with a scoreboard. After creating your content, you can make it available with a simple click. Choose to receive the answers or protect your content with a password. Share your content with a link, print a QR code on your worksheet, or embed it on your own homepage. If you activate the data collection, you get insights and receive answers from your learners. Get an overview and see how your course is performing. With Lumi Flow, you can create a flow by grouping and arranging your content into a stream of information and activities for your learners. Immerse your learners, get them involved, and let them enjoy the process of learning. If you need inspiration or get content from other authors and educators, use the Lumi Content Hub to find exciting content. You have complete ownership of your files and can download your content as H5P files and also edit them offline with our Lumi Desktop Editor. Your content as H5P is compatible with many major LMS like Moodle, WordPress or its learning. These are only the core features of Lumi. Register for free and explore Lumi on your own or get more information on our homepage. Thank you for watching and we hope you create amazing content. Okay, uh, Mr. Dr. Muridhar ji, you raise the hand, sir. You have any question to ask? Uh, you are unmute. Please unmute yourself and speak, sir. You have raised the hand by. Uh, Maybe by mistake, sir. We will take uh, questions at okay. the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end. We will. So, so, uh, so for one of the important uh, platform is uh, Edpuzzle. Second interesting platform and this is a free platform. This is again a free platform. Now let me show you, Abhi, now whatever I have run is a video. Now how do we create this kind of an environment? 
I'm going to run a small video with you. This anybody can able to do this one. I think that's what the technologies are available. <coughs> I'm running a one minute video, one minute, five seconds video. I request all the participants to kindly watch the process. This is preparing a small smoothie. Watch it carefully. After watching it, I'll make it interactive. Watch. video carefully now I am going to uh, uh, run the same video but you can see below there are certain dots are there these are all the what we call it as interactions after completing certain uh, certain part of the video the video developer has added some questions this is what I am talking about uh, HTML5 this without any uh, any uh, software we can run and this can be used just watch it carefully I'll be asking some questions watch it again you have to answer the question as in when, uh, when I asked so the first interaction is coming in the form of the form of question so uh, I think I request uh, participants can explain highlight the ingredients that has been added so far highlight the ingredients that has been added so far let me see how many of you are attentively watching this video blueberries and strawberries excellent madam blueberries and strawberries oh fine madam good good Okay, get it. Next, watch it carefully. Now, fill in the blanks. There is a fill in the blanks he has created. Now, tell me, fill in the correct ingredient. Strawberries and dash. What should be added here? What should we write here? Mulberries. Mul no, blueberries. No, Blueberries. Ah. Blueberries and mixed with cookies and milk. No, no, no. I think which which one is it cookies or is it milk? Milk. Milk. Milk, milk. And oatmeal cookies. Okay. All are correct. Right? Next continue. Now, drag and drop. This is another interaction. Hope you are enjoying what it is being said. We can do the same thing in our classes also. Okay, now tell me. Drag and drop the berries used in the recipe uh, on the picture. Smashing. Drag and drop the berries. Use. Konsa berries are yeah, used kar rahe? Blueberry, no? Pahle uh, wale, dousre wale. Aap batai hai. Second. Strawberry. Okay. Second. Yaha? Yaha? Strawberry. Strawberry. For first. Chali. Nain ye karke dekhta hoon. Dekhte hai. Fine. Good. Now the last interesting thing.
now interesting thing is which is coming up summary yeah tell me the correct statement there are three important correct statements you have to tell what is the first correct statement what is the first correct statement out of three third third one third one okay third one what is the second correct statement now second second okay what is the last correct statement third one yes. and now finally when you click the uh, continue button the system will tells you that how many answers you have submitted okay you have answered four questions and you have, if you submit all of them it says that uh, yes you have done it i think this is the way we can create an interactive and engaging learning experience now the question comes let's understand okay uh, this can be done with the help of lumi <coughs> so i will i will show you the process how this will be done okay let me take one video uh, i'll take one video from the uh, a simple video from the uh, lumi itself okay because in lumi there's already there's a video available there okay i will be using the same video i'll show you how to interact it okay this is the website of the lumi i have already shared it with you there are two options you can see lumi desktop and lumi cloud Lumi desktop is one such very simple, easy to use environment where we can create interesting, engaging, personalized, adaptive and flexible learning environment with the help of video. Okay. What is important is you need to download the Lumi desktop. Aram se, do, do se teen second lagta hai, kar lijega. करने के बाद प्रोसेस क्या होता है वो मैं आपको एक बार समझा दूंगा देखिए एक बार ये इंस्टॉल होने के बाद मैंने इंस्टॉल तो कर दिया था इंस्टॉल करने के बाद एक मिनट स्टॉप शेयर करके मैं इसको फॉर्मेट को चेंज कर देता हूं आई विल बी टेकिंग द एंटायर स्क्रीन व्यू ओके सो दैट यू कैन सो नाउ आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल द लूमी फॉर एजुकेशन आप देखिए ये मेरे डेस्कटॉप है मेरे डेस्कटॉप में एक आइकॉन भी आ गया लूमी इंटरक्टिव कंटेंट विद एच मैं इसको क्लिक करता हूं एक बार कंफर्म कर लीजिएगा मेरे आपके वाले स्क्रीन पे दो चीज आ रहा है इज इट ओके इज इट विजिबल सर यस ओके नाउ यू कैन सी देर आर टू ऑप्शन आर कमिंग वन इज एच फाइव पी एडिटर वेर इज स्टार्ट बटन सेकेंड वन इज एनलिटिक्स एनलिटिक्स विल डू लेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू कुड एबल टू डू दिस पार्ट that itself is a great thing so uh, first thing is let me click on this start button when i click on this hyp editor it it ask me two options one is are you going to open the existing hyp or are we going to create a new hyp yes i am interested to create a new hyp sir the same orientation i am giving to 64 malviya mission centers in this country on day to day basis ये आज से नहीं कम से कम मैं दस साल से इसको यूज कर रहा हूं सिंपल इट इज आई एम से एंड हियर देर आर सो मेनी ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल सो बट माई 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 प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू टेक द इंटरक्टिव वीडियो लेट मी क्लिक ऑन द इंटरक्टिव वीडियो नीचे क्या लिख के आ रहे हैं क्रिएट वीडियो एनरिच विथ इंटरक्शन लेट मी क्लिक ऑन द इंटरक्टिव वीडियो जब इंटरक्टिव वीडियो के ऊपर क्लिक करने के बाद ये वाला स्क्रीन आ जाता है and here you can see uh, if if you want to create an interactive video you can go through the tutorial there is an example was also given there you can use it now here uh, you can give a title uh, the title is i can say um, uh, interactive video demo okay now you can see sir niche teen options are uh, you can able to see one is uh, upload the video the video you have been selected has to be uploaded second one is add interactions and third one is summary at this point of time i'll take a small uh, pause over here 
pause over here one thing is very very important for us is it's not simply randomly you cannot create a video video content just look at this one so whether it is a lumi whether it's a ed puzzle what is important is when you choose a video when you want to make it interactive two things should be very clear what was the purpose of this video and what you are going to achieve it second thing is uh, what is it uh, are we going to provide to uh, to show cause a specific skill or task or a concept or an idea then accordingly uh, go through the entire length of the video then uh, identify one two three uh, it's, it depends on the, the reflection spots are interactions reflection spots are we call it as interactions so to make the life simple i said first five minutes there is a multiple choice question there is a next time it's or a, a, a true or false question whatever it may be okay now let me go back to this one now video where is the video already the video you have watched to share it with the students in the asynchronous mode has to be uploaded over here how it can be uploaded if your college is already prepared some video you can also use that video nice sir mere paas youtube ka video hai youtube ka video ka link yahan paste karke insert karna hai okay so kya ho gaya first step has been successfully there are other steps also uh, because i'm skipping because of the paucity of the time aaj itna ho nahi payega so second point is uh, we can add the interactions so when i click on the interactions add interaction you see sir this is the same video which we copied from the uh, internet only okay so what is what is important to me is uh, what is important to me is isme dekhe upar itne sare interactions hai okay to make the life simple i will be using one simple true or false statement niche dekhe there is a timeline is there the total length of the video is 2 minutes 39 seconds aapko pehla interaction kaha dena hai i think you should be clear about that okay so to make the life simple i will be using one true or false question i click on the true or false question when i click on the true or false question this screen will come yahan keh rahe ki what would what was the display time ye true or false question kaha aana chahiye i am giving 30 seconds here and uh, 32 35 30 to 35 means the true or false question will appear between 30 seconds to 35 seconds what is the internal story behind it 30 second tak jo cheez video ke madhyam se padhaya aap us students ke uh, attention ko understanding ko check kar raha hu and here you can see there is an option called pause the video When I click on the pause video, जब तक आप अटेंड नहीं नहीं करेंगे, the video will not pass, will not move, okay? And here I'll say true or false. Uh, uh, the question I'm going to um, uh, write: uh, Lumi is um, a, a, a a tool for interactive and personalize learning environment okay and uh, you can also copy uh, so so sorry sorry then you can see that uh, this is the question i'm i'm handing here uh, here i i'm saying uh, uh, i can call it as a true and false true oblique false question ओके ये क्वेश्चन है गए इधर और उसके बाद देन करेक्ट ट्रू और फॉल्स नीचे देन इज समथिंग कॉल्ड बिहेवियरल सेटिंग्स आर आल्सो देयर ओके हियर व्हाट इज इंटरेस्टिंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दिस इज नॉट अ असेसमेंट दिस इज अ इंटरेस्टिंग इनोवेटिव क्रिएटिव पर्सनलाइज्ड एंड एडैप्टिव लर्निंग एक्सपेरिमेंट सो देयर इज अ एनेबल रिट्रीव बटन इज देयर सो स्टूडेंट वांट टू रिट्रीव बैक इन नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स एनेबल शो सॉल्यूशन बटन इज आल्सो देयर okay so for example uh, auto the here feedback to correct answer so well done for the correct answer i can say well done keep it up uh for the wrong answer 
all the best try once again right sir and for adaptivity also uh, action on all all, all correct uh, what has been and uh, you know if you want to give enter time code in the format of uh, okay so this is okay then after doing these two things you can say done okay you can see earlier the dot was not there the dot was not there then no dot dot has been created so at 35th second okay now what i am going to do how to save this file you can see in this one uh, in the top there are three options are coming file edit and uh, uh, help click on the file option click on the export option and uh, you need to select the topmost option all in one html file export now see what happens so interactive video demo has been done i click on export it takes maximum 15 to 20 seconds sir it gets uh, uh, corrected now okay now it has been created now it has been created now now i'll close it everything i'll close it everything now interactive video can you see can you please confirm that uh, my desktop is visible to you, all of you and and sir ispe dekhiye ki interactive video demo hai okay simply a, 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 a html file i just run this one see what you can see it, it, something interesting run the video So the once the interaction comes, when the interaction comes, the video got stopped. Okay. So I ask one question over here. Lumi is a tool for interactive and personalized learning. I click on false. System says there is an option to go back. There is an option to go back. I can click. Of course, multiple times I can check. Continue. Like this is went on. So like this, here you can create an environment. So what are the things we did here? Of course, technology is secondary. But what is important to me that you can create an environment which is giving an engaging, interesting learning experience. So like this, you can create uh, n number of videos. This is one uh, such example. Now, let me take you the same thing with Edpuzzle also. But before I explain Edpuzzle, there are a few interesting things I'm going to talk about uh, the Edpuzzle, uh, which is which, which very, very important. Edpuzzle is basically, uh, uh, there are four important things we can do with the Edpuzzle. Number one, number one, we can make the, uh, we can make interactive uh, video content. As I already mentioned to you, we can add the questions, comments and other things. Second, very, very importantly, Edpuzzle facilitates the experiential learning environment so that students can able to uh, ask the questions and reflect on their experiences can be given. Similarly, uh, the multiple projects can be set up uh, using collaborative projects. And of course, it's supporting the gamifying learning environment like quizzes and challenges. Very interestingly, it provides the analytics to track the progress. It provides the analytics to track the progress. Let me take a minute to explain uh, this, this feature. This is again very interesting and important uh, um, feature of uh, this one. Okay, so this is about the Edpuzzle, uh, Edpuzzle application. Okay, so in this Edpuzzle, what I've been uh, trying to say so you can see uh, there are a few interesting things like you can uh, uh, register once. Uh, that's the only one-time job. And uh, we can add. You can join with uh, your Google account also. And uh, very interestingly, you can. You, I have already uh, having an account. And I could able to join without any difficulty as such. So this is about the one first part of it. The second interesting part of the Edpuzzle is... 
the second interesting part of the ed puzzle is so once i once i created the ed puzzle environment dekhe this is what it is coming maine pichle bar mein kya kiya tha ab dekhe yahan usme bhi video ko import kiya yahan bhi main video ko import kar raha hu are sorry wohi lumi wala video ko hi main le leta hu idhar इधर लेके एड पजल वाले में इसमें देखिएगा यहां मैं उस वीडियो को कॉपी करके सर्च करता हूं तो पहले मैंने क्या किया था रजिस्ट्रेशन किया था रजिस्ट्रेशन करने के बाद इसमें वीडियो को इंपोर्ट किया था यहां देखिए आपको जैसे उसमें भी ऐसा ही आ रहा था इसमें भी ऐसा ही आ रहा था ओके नाउ वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी दैट क्वेश्चन ओके यहां देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स कैन बी एडेड इस we can add generate questions uh, a because this is again a very interesting a based application to so, aap simply yahan click kar do generate questions ke upar ek bar aap click karenge uh, wo aap se puchhenge ki are you looking for open ended question are you looking for multiple choice what is beauty of the system is it reads the video on its own the a system reads the video on its own and it generates okay is bar nahi karaya so i click on uh, let me let me just uh, refresh once again okay uh, i'll go to the questions uh, generate questions i'll say multiple choice dekhte multiple choice ka ek question ha ah, nahi is bar bhi nahi ho paya chaliye mujhe ek multiple choice ka question banana hai aap khud bar bana sakte hain if you click on the multiple choice pehle to sabse important wali baat hai ki time kya hona chahiye what time you are going to create it ओके मेक इट इतना तो नहीं करूंगा अब तीस सेकेंड तक लेके जाऊंगा तीस सेकेंड में आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन यहां एक चीज आपने नोटिस किया होगा एंड द टीचर स्टूडेंट्स कैन गिव ए वॉइस इनपुट ऑल्सो सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ ए डिजेबिलिटी स्टूडेंट्स कैन एबल टू डू इट की आर आई कैन से लूमी facilitates uh, interact or uh, sorry interactive learning okay you can say uh, true and here you can say false okay so uh, here you know true is correct but what is interesting for me is here whether it's a, whether the statement true or not you can provide the additional information also i click on the save button you see there is there is a there is a reflection interaction has been added here wahan bhi humne aise kiya now i can finish this after finishing this i can click on assign after assigning uh, you can you can take that uh, like uh, in google classroom we are creating the classes like you see so many classes i have created इस वीडियो कैन गो अप टू दिस वन दिस वीडियो को दे दिया मैंने देखे एंड बट वॉट इज इंटरेस्टिंग टू दी एट पर्सन इज दिस यू कैन फिक्स द टाइमिंग इन टाइमिंग एक्चुअली वॉट टाइम टू वॉट टाइम दिस इज अवेलेबल आई कैन फिक्स दट एंड सेकेंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इज प्रिवेंट स्किपिंग दैट मीन्स इट विल नॉट बी स्टूडेंट विल नॉट बी एबल टू स्किप द लेक्चर एंड यू कैन गो थ्रू द एंटायर थिंग एंड इफ यू फाइंड द डिग्री ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इज डिफिकल्ट and uh, you know you can put two three times ek baar nahi do do baar nahi teen teen baar nahi jitne baar aapko karna hai jab tak aap complete karenge student cannot be able to access that okay and if you can view as a student and uh, so student ko ye dikhai dega ki uh, matlab kis tarike se student ko ye ye cheez dikhai de this is how we can create an environment uh, which is uh, which is flexible which is adaptable and which can also create uh, a, a, a an environment which can be very much useful for you so the question what i am trying to say here is <coughs> this is how this is how students can able to see that okay then uh, if you want you can run this video in a classroom aapke paas smart board hai you can run it uh, or if you want to uh, nahi sir hamare paas google classroom hai aap unko aap aap chahe to inko de sakte ho google classroom mein ye cheez upload kar sakte ho this is how you can create an environment uh, and very very important point in both lumi and uh, ed puzzle is dekhiye uh, all students are not equal generally humne ek level ka video student ko diya tha some students could not able to understand this video 
so they can ask the question and you can create a personalized learning environment with the learner. So whatever answers you are going to give, whatever uh, responses you will be giving, going to give, it will be pertaining to that learner only. So what I am trying to say in the nutshell, uh, first and foremost thing, they, uh, as far as the technology in higher education is concerned, two important things required. So sensitization of the teachers is very important. Orientation is very important. Secondly, we should be very clear about what was the objective of this lecture and what is the expected outcome. It should be very clear. And second point is such kind of simple, easy to use, uh, <coughs> interactive and personalized learning experience environments are available. So my, my request to all of you is make it an effort. Thanks to your organizers that they have created such a wonderful environment for you. But what is important is make it practically uh, start doing. Then then create. See, the, as far as Edpuzzle is concerned, if you come, if you go to my site, uh, there are excellent videos are already available. My own videos are available. So my point is that it's not uh, somebody else can come. So you create your own environment. Sir, our principal is not saying, our head of the department is not saying, sometimes when I go to the NAC, people are saying this. Sir, they didn't say it, they didn't say it, they didn't say it, no one will not say it. What I am trying to say is that you should create your own environment. If you create your own environment, you can be a torch bearer at your place. I'll stop it here, friends. If you have any quick questions, comments are there, I am happy to answer. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, enlightening session. It was uh, really wonderful, wonderful. Now I request all the participants kindly ask very few questions because uh, sir is already uh, has another task. So with the view to save his valuable time, only ask the concrete questions. Another announcement is there that I have posted uh, feedback link in the uh, chat box uh, you are supposed to submit the feedback form so that we can generate the certificate and that will be shared with you all uh, yes please so we line per to hai na yes sir yes sir that is not really a direct answer, but just for clarification. What is the difference between objective of the lecture and expected outcomes? So what we are going to achieve is the one which is being expected for us. Sir, kindly please mute yourself. Sir, everybody is uh, speaking there. Yeah. See, see, uh, what, what, is, uh, uh, what is important to see, objective, we have a broad, uh, uh, broad sketch. And uh, expected outcome is what we are going to achieve, what the student is going to learn. So uh, that 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 is that is the difference between these two. One is a broader sketch, one is a finer sketch. That's a simple answer. Sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, sir, one question is there. Sir, while using uh, these uh, ICT tools like Kahoot, Padlet, everything in a classroom, that time there is sometimes fear of uh, unnecessary use of mobile. Uh, by the students and you can observe. So, so avoid all these things, uh, what can be the precautions? I generally never allow the students to use the mobile phone in the classroom because there are two reasons. Uh, we, are, we have a smart board. Abhi aapko mene jo dikhaeta, ye sare smart board mein hi mein dikhaata hoon. Mein students ko ye kehta hoon, collectively aap batao. Haan, Kahoot ke liye, Mentimeter ke liye, jaisa kuch formative assessment tools and summative assessment tools. Sometimes it required. Sir, एक एक ऐसा था, एक जमाना ऐसा था कि पहले तो हम WhatsApp के लिए तो कभी-कभार देखते थे। आजकल तो दिन में दस बार WhatsApp को open करके देख ले, रात में तो बंद भी नहीं करते। 
हाँ मेरा कहने का मतलब ये था कि देर आर ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल बट वेन वी टेल द स्टूडेंट वॉट इज इम्पोर्टेंट डेफिनेटली दे विल बी फॉलोइंग सर ऐसे कोई दिक्कत नहीं बट एक चीज मैं तो एज ए प्रोफेसर में ये बात कहता हूँ सर मैं क्लास में जब मैं क्लास में रहता हूँ मतलब कन्वेंशनल फेस टू फेस क्लास में मैं मैं मानता हूँ मेरे से बड़ा कोई टेक्नोलॉजी है ही नहीं बिकॉज आई माई सेल्फ विल क्रिएटेड अभी जितने सारे सॉफ्टवेयर मैंने आपको जो दिखाया था हाँ मैं सॉफ्टवेयर ये शेयर कर दूंगा सर को शेयर कर दूंगा ये जितने सारे सॉफ्टवेयर में कर किया था मैं जनरली ये सारे चीजों को क्लासरूम में क्योंकि मेरा प्रॉब्लम क्या है बहुत सारे बातों को मैं कह भी नहीं पाता और ओनली थियोरिटिकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग से आगे कुछ निकलेगा नहीं तो इसलिए मैं इन टेक्नोलॉजीज को यूज करके स्टूडेंट को क्लास से बाहर ही एंगेज करके एसोसिएट करके ले आता हूं और क्लास में आने के बाद सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है मैं ओपन करके दिखा दूंगा स्टैटिस्टिक्स में एनालिटिक्स मेरे सामने तो क्या समझ में आ गया क्या समझ में नहीं आया और उसमें मेरा क्या रोल रहेगा दिस इज हाउ आई बिन डूइंग इट बट यस इश्यूज आर देयर क्योंकि मोर यूज ऑफ मोबाइल फोन सर मैं एक बात बता रहा हूं मैंने मैंने इसको प्रैक्टिस करके देखा था हफ्ते में एक दिन संडे वाले दिन मोबाइल को मैं यूज ही नहीं करता मोबाइल को बहुत दूर रखता हूं मेरे बीवी कहती है भैया आप तो बंद करके रखते हो हमारा जीना हराम कर देते हो सोमवार को मैंने कहा था कोई बात नहीं जिसका काम है दोबारा वो करेगा ओके सो मेरा कहने का मतलब ये है कि मुझे देख के मेरा बीवी ने संडे वाले मोबाइल छोड़ दिया था उसके बाद बच्चों ने भी छोड़ दिया था दो तीन किताबें सो आई थिंक मेरे बाबू जी बचपन में कहते थे आप जो कहते हो अपने औलाद नहीं सुनेंगे आप जो करते हो उनके सामने एज ए डिसिप्लिन पर्सन डेफिनेटली वो फॉलो करें तो दैट्स वॉट माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच so thank you uh, professor kes uh, uh, sir sir for uh, the great lecture uh, the total session it was very interactive and we have enjoyed a lot i stand here today on behalf of our esp college as well as all the two collaborators institute to extend our heartfelt heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for gracing online workshop on enep 2020 and enhancing teacher competencies for interactive and personalized learning so the professor srinivas sir was uh, very much uh, uh, the session was very much engaging and his insightful session was nothing short of enlightening providing us with deep insight into the national education policy and how to use uh, this different type of uh, uh, tools for enhancing teacher competencies in the uh, interactive as well as the personalized learning his experience and passion for the educational enhancement tree truly resonated with us all of us leaving a lasting impact on our understanding uh, we also extend our deepest gratitude to our principal dr narendra tendulkar sir for his support as well as vision in organizing such enlightening workshops as well as uh, dr s k patil principal of ckt college for uh, his presence as well as support Uh, a special thank to Dr. Deepak Narkede sir of Sikiti College as well as Dr. Nilesh Panthede of SSH College Devgad for gracing with their presence as well as contributing uh, for the organization of this workshop. Uh, last but certainly not least, to express our heartfelt appreciation to our principal Dr. Sadar Patil sir for his continuous encouragement as well as guidance which have been instrumental in the success of this workshop. I would also like to thank. Uh, the IQST of our college, as well as all the dedicated faculty members of all the three colleges, as well as all other colleges also, for your for your active participation and engagement throughout the session. Uh, finally, to all the participants who have joined us from various corners, uh, your eagerness to learn and our perspectives made this workshop a vibrant as well as enriching experience. So let's carry forward the knowledge and inspiration gained from this workshop into our classroom and educational endeavors. Together, we can strive towards creating a brighter and more innovative future for the education. Thank you, one and all. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.